Chemistry lecture number 61, percent yield. The mass mass stoichiometry calculations we've done have all been theoretical yields. This is the amount of product you're supposed to get under perfect conditions. In real life, you never get the exact amount of product you expect. Your actual yield always falls a little bit short. And if conditions are poor or you have bad lab technique, your actual yield of product can be well below the expected amount. Percent yield is the percentage of the theoretical yield that actually occurs. So the percent yield is the actual amount of product you get divided by the amount of product you're supposed to get times 100%. Percent yield problems are just like uh, stoichiometric problems with an extra step at the end. You find the grams of the unknown, which will be the theoretical yield, and then you use this value in the percent yield formula to see if you got close to the ideal yield of product. What is the percent yield at 5.50 grams of H2 react to form 20.4 grams of NH3? So in this problem, 5.50 is the mass of the, un of the known. Uh, the 20.4 grams of NH3 is the actual yield. So we'll set this number aside and use it later. But we first need to convert 5.50 grams of H2 into grams of NH3, and this will be the theoretical yield. So we're going to start out by solving it just like a regular mass-mass problem. 5.50 grams of H2, so 5.50 grams, and this is the known, and then um, we don't know how much we should get. We're going to solve for the unknown. So when you solve for this unknown, that's going to be the theoretical yield. The actual yield, when they did this experiment, is 20.4 grams. So we're going to take this number and we're going to set, aside, set it aside and use it later. But for right now, we're going to treat this as the known and then use this to find the unknown. Right? So just like a regular mass-mass problem. All right, so this is rewritten on the next page. All right. So we have our known and we have our unknown. One mole of the known weighs 2.02 grams. Uh, one mole of the unknown weighs 17 grams. So we're going to convert grams all the way into uh, grams of known all the way into uh, grams of unknown. Here we go. 5.50 grams of H2. I have grams of H2 and I want to get rid of it. So I'll put 2.02 grams of H2 on the bottom and one mole of H2 on top. That converts grams of H2 into moles of H2. Now I want to convert moles of H2 into moles of NH3. So since I have moles of H2 on top, to get rid of it, I'll put three moles of H2 on the bottom and two moles of NH3 on top. And we do this because three moles of H2 are required to produce two moles of NH3. So we've converted moles of H2 into moles of NH3. And then we want to convert moles of NH3 into grams of NH3. So since I have moles of NH3 on top, I need to put moles of NH3 on the bottom to get them to cancel. One mole of NH3 is 17 grams. All right, so set up this way. Grams of H2 cancel. Moles of H2 cancel. Moles of NH3 cancel and you're left with grams of NH3. 5.5 times 2 times 17 divided by the product of these two numbers gives me 30.9 grams of NH3. So this is the amount of NH3 you're supposed to get if you completely react 5.50 grams of hydrogen gas. So this is the theoretical yield. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this theoretical yield and we're going to take this actual yield and we're going to use it to compute the percent uh, yield. So we're going to take these two numbers, which you see here and here, and we're going to put it into our percent yield formula. So the percent yield is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield. When someone actually did this experiment, they got 20.4 grams of NH3. They were supposed to get 30.9 grams of NH3. So 20.4 goes here, 30.9 goes on the bottom, 20.4 divided by 30.9 times 100 gives me 66% yield. So this means we only got 66% of what we should have gotten. All right? Should have gotten 30.9. Actually, we only got 20.4. We got 66% of uh, that number. All right, well, we can also use the uh, formula introduced in lecture number 59 to find the theoretical yield of all this factor labeling stuff is confusing. So using the uh, formula from lecture 59, we would uh, solve it this way. 
So <clears throat> here's our formula. That's our known. We're trying to find the uh, grams of unknown, and we use this number later on. We set it aside. All right, well, we're solving for the grams of unknown. The grams of known is 5.5. The coefficient in front of the unknown is 2. The molar mass of the unknown, and here's our unknown, NH3 is 17. Molar mass of the known, and here's our known, H2, so that's 2.02. .02. And then the coefficient in front of the known, here's the known, the coefficient is 3, like that. All right, so the formula, Kg, is going to be 5.5, see, Cu is going to be 2, right there, Mu is 17, Mk 2.02, .02. and then Ck is 3. So 5.50 times 2 times 17 Divided by the product of these two numbers gives us 30.9 grams of NHC, the theoretical yield. We're going to take this number, and then we're going to take this number and solve for the uh, percent yield. So taking these two numbers, which are rewritten right here, <coughs> percent yield is actual divided by theoretical. Actual is 20.4. That goes here. Theoretical is 30.9. That goes there. 20.4 divided by 30.9 times 100 gives me 66% yield. So this means we only got 66% of what we should have gotten. All right, so these percent yield problems are just like the mass mass problems. It just has this extra step of uh, plugging the numbers into the formulas and taking a number that's given to you and dividing it by a number that you calculated. All right, so just a slight extension of a mass mass uh, stoichiometry problem. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 61, percent yield.